Hello, welcome back to Kaiser Redux. It's Russia. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, Germany's been defeated. Austria's been defeated. They're all now welcomed into our wonderful new faction. Uh, but now, our eyes are turning south towards the Ottoman Empire. And also, kind of east, if you look at the Russian Socialist Republic. But they, they're they kind of our last two obstacles here. Kill the Ottomans, kill the Socialists. Probably, probably not going to go with, with the International just because I don't... If they attack us, then maybe... But just for right now, we're gonna send a spy to Cairo. I'm gonna send you to Vladivostok, and I think we're we're basically ready to go. I don't know when we're going to the Temple of the Power. I'm negative four. Okay, claim the straight support. You guys can't do that. We will gain some claims. I mean, that's always nice. We love we love some good claims. Okay, but once we have 10 political power, then we can... Uh, is there anything we want here? Build a dam. Not really, right? Like, we've kind of we've kind of done everything. Like, what do we have here? Radar technology. A nuclear research bonus is kind of always bad. <laughs> because, like, getting nukes in, in, in Hoi Forges in general. Actually, no, you're pretty good. We actually, we actually, no, we actually do want this. Okay. We'll get you going, and then in about, not, not five days, like six days, we should have enough political power for us to declare war against the Ottoman Empire. Let's actually get all of our units ready to go for that invasion. Get all of you to prepare an invasion into Ankara. Blue army, you're just going to move your way over to Constantinople first. We got over here, we got blue army. Ready to push away north. Ground army, you're gonna push your way over towards Aleppo. Are you in the um yeah, you're in Ottoman Puppet State, so green army. Your job is going to be to push your way straight through, and then purple, who's kind of just our overall massive line. You're just gonna kind of push like this. Yeah, there you go. Just like two separate corners. And I think that's basically all of you, no? I'm just trying to see what other armies we have. I mean we have Purple army could be an offensive line against the French just in case. Do the same thing here. I'm gonna delete your orders. So I'm gonna put you on the border with the Swiss. Not gonna worry about Belgium too much. Belgium, that can be that's a French concern. That's not an our concern. So you guys are here ready to go. Brand army's ready to go. And I just wanna make sure everybody's Yeah, you guys are ready to reinforce the Russian front. And a, in a moment's notice. We'll have you guys over here. Um, Where do I assign? It's like just another army. I don't know where to put them. I guess we'll put you here for now. Just like I, I don't know where else they should go. Okay, so purple line, you're going to move your way north. Blue line, you're going to move your way north as well. Then you guys are going to move your way over this way. Hopefully take Vladivostok uh, sooner rather than later. And then everybody, basically, like, if you can be attacking, you should be attacking. Like, there's no reason, I think, for you to not to be attacking. Six. This might actually go up to eight. There we go. And maybe just one more day. Fourteen days we declare war on the Ottomans. They are still at war with Yemen, so we at least have, like, kind of one ally in the area, which is nice. We can also demand territory from Japan. We can't do that. We can't do that until we can, we can't do that until we actually technically border Japan, which will require us to take this province here. Because you're defended by the Japanese. You're in the Japanese sphere of influence. I mean, it wouldn't even be that hard. Just to turn around, kill the defending government, back the uh, the military government in the south. We we'd have a great time. And also, we have our. Uh, Bonus against you when we're ready to go. 110 days. I don't know if we'll even be at war with the Ottomans for 110 days, but it still works out well for us. Get more military factories in Moscow. And actually, I didn't even check. Are all of our railroads actually finished yet? They are. And now... Okay, Eurasianism has faded. Eurasianism's movement, despite its bright beginning, has finally ceased to exist. The idea is Eurasianism did not find enough support in society, leading to the fact uh, that the moment lacks serious financing. 
Even though Eurasians themselves won't give up their ideas, Prince Strugetskoy announced that the party won't participate in politics anymore. Though they don't renounce their ideas, he stated that perhaps the ideolog ideology of Eurasianism will become more popular in the following decades, but for now they need to make serious decisions on how to revitalize the movement. I mean, you're, not, you're actually the second biggest party, so I'm not too sure what the hell you're talking about. But there we go, 59% for us. And aside from that, I think what we need to do is get ourselves a brand new Kerensky portrait. Kerensky, it is time. Let, let's go eyeing Kerensky. There we go. Do Kerensky every day. We don't have really any supply hubs up here, which is not a big surprise. I don't even... Actually, do you have a supply up here? You do. And I don't even think catching a railroad would be that difficult. Can I declare war on you? No, but I do have cores on you. Take 60 days. Okay, so let's prepare the war against you. Either we're going to get the pop of the clear war prior. Um, we put it on a one-year hold. I'm not too sure when that'll actually expire. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Yeah, and the Ottomans have not put nearly enough troops on this border. But we can also rename Baltic cities. Now let's rename everything so they're proper Russian. And how many more days until our war here begins? Three days until the war against the Ottoman Empire. And I honestly think we're just literally going to walk right through the country. We're going to call all of our allies in. Everybody should agree to the... Uh, Agree to the war. I mean, we're still technically at war with Belgium, but that, who cares? It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so call everybody in. So all of our puppets are in, but unfortunately, actually, none of our puppets actually border the Ottomans. Bulgaria. There we go. Fantastic. So they can. I think they're really just going to walk right into the Ottomans. Uh, yeah, there's nothing stopping them. How is the. Uh... Yeah, I mean, the Dutch are dead. There's no doubt about that. I might have touched me the Belgians. And really, I think for the entire Ottoman war, we, we kind of just ignore it. Our main concern is the Russian Socialist Republic. They, these are the people that we need to actually worry about. Everyone else is incidental. They're not really a major concern. You'll be ready to go on a 23rd of April. You know what? Don't don't tell anybody I did this, okay? We're just gonna clear a war right away. Call in all of our allies. So being army is marching to the west. That's absolutely not true, but that's okay. The war of the so Russian Socialist Workers Union. To be in war with the gun, our allies are ready to strike the enemy. Have our yeah, ready to struck the enemy. Okay, won't even know. Okay, so we're gonna get some bonuses here. Oh shit, no, that's really good. Okay, that works out really, really well for us. <laughs> okay, well. I guess we'll just draw the line up like this. Yeah, I I did not know that this would occur the way that it has, but I guess I'm not going to complain about it. If I was if I was playing these guys right now, I would be absolutely fucking pissed. What are you guys doing? Are you going to attack? You're not. I'm actually going to bring an entire new army in. You, you should be one of the armies that are... Uh, bring you over here. I'm going to delete your line and then bring you over to Vladivostok as well. Because Vladivostok we need to take. I like no questions asked about it. Okay, but I do need you to deal with this situation. So if you're any of these guys, stay around here. Cheetah should fall... Okay, this actually is working completely A-OK. -okay. okay, yeah, no, I had nothing to worry about. A absolutely nothing to fear. Okay, you're declaring war on more people. I do see there are definitely more, um... Leopoldville. The Miners Union. Okay. Do you have your own focus tree? You do, Okay. I guess it's not too surprising. You know, Lithuania, congratulations. You get some representation in Parliament now. Theoretically speaking. Okay, so you guys are trying to push your way through. It's not really working out super well for you. 
Storm is gonna wrap around. We do need to take Cheetah. See if you can get these guys out of here. You push in this direction. Blue Army's on their way. Fantastic. And I guess for now, uh, air production is okay. Also, I have no planes in this area. All of you. Do we even have an air base? Not really. So let's just build. Let's bring our. Um, yeah, let's just bring our bombers. So apparently, we have no other airfield aside from that. Yeah, bring you in like this. Not that we really need to kill these armies, because it's not like they're really going to be able to put up much of a fight. Bring you around. There's 77%. We have units moving our way through. Cheetah. We need to take Cheetah from you. And they have actually started to push through our line ever so slightly, but it, it shouldn't really be a big deal. How's the Ottoman front going? It is going completely a okay. Constantinople is about to fall. How many units do the Ottomans actually have? 37 to 73. Not a ton, actually. The state of Israel, Uganda? Yeah, sure. I mean, why not, right? Bring you around. Better cipher. Oh, yeah, I have my uh, intelligence. Yeah, uh, break those immediately, please. Use that where we can. You move right down to this city. You just need to take a lot of all stock. What, what do you actually capitulate at? That's a good question. 15%. Very cool. Very cool. Apparently Mongolia has claims to all of this. How much land did Mongolia claim? What the hell is wrong with Mongolia? They claimed all of Siberia. I think, I think that's going a bit too far, but who am I to, who am I to judge? Okay, congratulations, France. You did all the work. You can have all the lands. You guys actually an invasion plan. You guys also need an invasion plan. Uh, okay, you're going to down here. I'm just going to actually deploy all of you like this. I mean, I, and that seems like it'll work out just fine for us. Okay, Constantinople will fall in but a moment. Uh, let's get support equipment. Again, it doesn't really matter really what we're building at this point. And all of you... Protect this army in Anatolia. That will be pretty important for us. Okay, Constantinople has fallen. Iran, you're just a... Yeah, you're, you're not a puppet state. You're an actual independent member of a faction. Which honestly is actually pretty impressive. Good for you. Okay, let's claim the straits. Okay, Cheetah has now fallen. Gets you down to... You're still at 90. But Cheetah not worth a lot. For two victory points. I guess Con Vladivostok is... A vast majority of the points here. Then from this line. Gonna push you in as so. Yeah, bring all these divisions up here. Just for the time being. Keep the pressure on. You are technically encircled. But we do need to take Vladivostok. Okay, our army's now arrived. Your Literally, your only job is to take Vladivostok. Everything else is meaningless for you. And actually, this line here... Just don't even, don't even worry about that. Don't, don't be over here. We should have units in the area to uh, to win the fight, regardless. Okay, they're trying to push their way through. Ottomans capitulate at 20%. Completely reasonable. We have no supplies over here at all, though. But we should get some uh, supply hubs very, very soon, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, I mean, just walking through the Ottoman Empire. We got all of our bonuses against the Russian Socialist Workers Union, which I'm surprised that we got. I really didn't think it would happen. 
bring more pressure here. You move up one province. They have a city, they have one victory point, two victory points. I mean, a vast majority of the victory points is just in Vladivostok. And you are already on this border, so this actually works out fine. Can I drag this line out a little bit more? No, I cannot, but not a big deal. Because you're still also at war with the Entente. Not that I think that war will ever actually end. Okay, so what down here is actually core territory? You're not core, you're not core. We, not, we do need to send a single unit into Egypt to actually put him into our sphere. So we're going to just drag you out. Yeah, I mean, the Ottomans, they, they, they really don't have much hope anymore, which is very sad for them, but it works out just fine for me. Uh, we have another city over here. You're worth one. You're worth five. That actually is going to be an important city we need to take. I'm going to drag your line back to here. This uh, offensive line doesn't make any more sense. You want to push in this direction. Please and thank you. We should have units over here, right? Like they're, they're, they're on their way. It, it's just going to take them longer than I would like. The blue army is looking pretty good. We do need you, for sure. But that honestly might be all we need. Like, just this city and Vladivostok might be enough for them to just completely collapse. And I would be very, very happy with that. You move your way to Ankara, you move your way up north, you make your way to Adana. Let's kind of split them up where we can. Damascus is not a core, you're not a core. It's really just Turkey itself that's actually core Ottoman territory. Everything else doesn't really matter so much. Three divisions here ready to go. Move you guys in. But they don't really have any other cities as far as I can tell. Move your way to Zaya. Bring units to reinforce in this position. Bring units up north. Question is, like, do we want to intervene in China? Can I intervene in China is also another good question. I don't know. Okay, Ottomans are now down to 40%. Like, and I want to at least deal one casualty to one Egyptian unit so they can actually capitulate properly. Otherwise, they just, you know, will not. How many men have we actually lost right now? 46,000? It's probably also mostly against, yeah, the, the other Russian faction. There's also the primaries. I've won this war. You can't primary Kerensky. That's not how this works. Also, I don't even know where it actually is in here. Still a lot of territory we have not actually poured uh, quite yet. I don't see anything in here that's like liberal, uh... Apparently it's done in 13 days, so what do, I, what do I know though? Okay, we are... I mean, you, you've got to be very close to death, right? You are, you're very, very close, and I'm very, very happy to see it. The Ottomans have almost fallen, Vladivostok will fall into our hands very soon. How much is 20% worth here? Oh, it, it, it's a good chunk. It's a good chunk. So after this, you guys are going to move your way basically up the coastline. Because you are worth one. You are worth one. You're worth one. You're worth five. You're the current capital right now. But I know they have some other cities over here, don't they? Like, you are worth two victory points. We might need to actually move our way all the way down to... Uh, so over here to actually kill him off. Okay, but in a moment, we'll march away into Cairo. Which will be very nice for us. Where's, what's your actual capital city? Oh, no, that actually wins. That actually just wins us the war. So, the war has led, to our, uh, has led to our secure victory and unconditional surrender of the Splinter State of Transamir in the Far East. 
For recent soldiers surrender on mass, you have to recognize the power of the Russian Democratic Federal Republic. And uh, Mikhail Fruz is ready to stop all military actions in the region. Wait, are we getting a good bonus for this? We are. It's actually a bonus against the Germans as well. 10%. Your action is really good. Actually, if anything, we'd prefer to keep this modifier forever. But... I'm sure it's okay. We also have... Oh, we also get their entire army as well. My lord. Okay. Um... I'm gonna draw a line here. And then we're going to do, draw a line on you. We're going to draw a line against the Qing. We're going to draw a line against Maklik. We're going to draw a very small line against Korea. You're going to have a line against you, but we don't have a good like area for that. We'll, we'll do something like this. So how many units do I have now that are uh, not actually in a army at all? I'm going to say it's probably a pretty significant amount, huh? Oh my god, there's there's so many units we need to assign. Okay, we're, we're almost near the bottom. We're almost at the end. Well, where do I put these units? I genuinely don't know. I guess we'll assign you into this field marshal for now. Um, we'll put one army against the Dutch. I will put one army against the Swedes. And then we'll put you on the border with the Italians, I guess. Kind of makes sense. Like, how many units do we have right now? Are we at four? We're at 425 divisions. God damn. That's, that's that might that might be too many units, honestly. Oh, Russian unification. Kerensky is united in Russia. Let us go. Following the assassination, Kerensky has finally realized his idea of becoming the eternal president of Russia. Dealing with all threats to his rule, he managed to stay in power and continue his lifelong rule. Dealing with his old enemy of Vladivostok and bring democracy back in, uh, democracy and freedom back to the Far East. Kerensky's uh, strength and power once more. Only his wise guidance of the Russian Republic will prosper. Thank you, thank you. Let's demand Zakalin. Absolutely uh, reintegrate our lands, please. But now this, this area doesn't matter. And then you don't matter. You guys need to be on the border here. 24 stack. Uh, let's put you. I mean, Bohemia's not in our faction, so let's surround them. And Illyria is also not in our faction, so let's put units on their border as well. Not that I think that either of them are going to actually attack us, but, you know, just in case. Just in case. I have so many odd, like so many things up here, they don't matter anymore. 26 days. Do you think that they are willing to? I want everything, Japan. Conservative candidate. Even if conservatives not supported on Russia, they still have two good candidates to nominate. Sure. Sell Why would I want to sell it off to Japan? Yeah, no, give me my entire navy, please. Actually, I should bring my entire navy over to Japan. In case we need to navally invade them. Yeah, bring everybody over. Problem now is, like, we're at a good time to end the episode. And you know what? I think this will be a good time to end the episode. So we'll be back uh, tomorrow, probably for the final episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to enjoy, click some down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.